walk around this neighborhood, the Temple Bar district. I really wanted to love it, but I couldn't. It's just my RSVP. I need to ask the locals of what to do. I came to Dublin and visited the most famous tourist spot, Temple Bar. Didn't like it. I tried their historic fish and chips, also didn't like it. Online guides can be too surface. It was time to dig deeper and approach the gatekeepers, the locals, especially industry locals. And what followed was an unforgettable experience. Stick around because I can confidently say what I thought was the absolute best thing to do when you visit Dublin. So, uh, and I recommend. Are you gonna love it? Like this is different from everything. The Guinness in Ireland is the Guinness in Ireland, and that's it. All is everything. Yeah. It's different. You don't want to go to Temple Bar, that's yeah. 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 yeah, so it's something that you don't find in Europe, you know? Green, green's nice. This is shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I picture Ireland. Here we go, guys. Oh my god. Oh, oh yes. yes. This, this is gold. Cool. What does Dublin do better than any other city? What is the absolute first thing one should try? The answer is a proper Irish pub. I asked my Airbnb uh, host and he recommended a really good bar and I think I should start from there. I hear that my bar is two blocks away and two blocks in Europe doesn't mean anything. It's almost like 100 feet away. Oh, no! Pub recommendation? Palace Bar. Look at this place. It looks closer to a cathedral than a bar. They say you never had Guinness if you never had it in Ireland. So here it goes. It is a very um, emotional moment because Guinness is one of my favorite beers and I've always wanted to taste Guinness in its hometown, Dublin. Wow. Whoa, it almost seems like a dessert. I hear that what the locals do, take a big gulp till the Guinness label. Oh, very light. It's like, it's so much lighter than I get in America. Much more refreshing. It doesn't feel like it's a stout. It's good, it's just good. Someone told us that the... That someone was right. The single best meal I've had in Ireland was here. I'll reveal this place later, but first... Got some really good rest from my 10-hour flight yesterday. And right now, I'm heading to a delicious morning breakfast. A uh, place recommended by our Ingredient B host, Michael, to... Uh... Recommendation number two, lemon jelly. When in Ireland, one must try full Irish breakfast. Don't let the simple presentation fool you because, well, take a look. All right, let's dig in. Let's start with sausages. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So flavorful. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Get some bacon. I like that it's not too fatty as with American sausages. I actually get a lot of delicious meat right here. Let's taste the blood pudding. Mmm, mm, it is blood pudding. Who knew that beans can be this good? Wow, the sausage though. Breakfast was an enormous success and now it's 11 a.m. I am trying to hit off a lot of uh, spots that I can squeeze in in one day. Guess what? This is the Bunsen and this is the entire menu. Double burger for $10.95. Let's go. Recommendation number three. I asked around different people and got a pretty unanimous answer. The Bunsen burger chain. They have a very simple menu and the burger was... Mm. Mm. Oh wow. This is very, very 
tender and juicy. This is like a half a pound of freaking beef. See, this is medium. They sort of told me that the lowest that I can go is medium. I was like, can you eat a medium rare? So no. I gotta ask for why. So I couldn't get medium rare. That got me thinking. Can you get steak medium rare here? Or is it because it's ground beef? Anyway, if you know anything about that, educate me, please, in the comments. On to the recommendations. I thought I'm gonna be eating a lot of Irish traditional dishes, but I think the locals themselves are interested in eating. Mexican is one of my top three favorite cuisines. So when Dubliners told me to hit this place up, I had high expectations. Dublin is now seeing a huge demand for Mexican restaurants, and Masa comes highly recommended for their tacos and margaritas. I love the ambiance, the overall atmosphere, but the tacos left much to be desired. Other locals recommended another spot called El Grito, so can you let me know how it is next time you're in Dublin? Oh my god! Yo, what was that? Pickle is an experience. They do like this beautiful uh, Indian, right? Indian. I'm in the Portobello neighborhood. There are shawarma places, there are Indian places. Oh, no. Totally opposite feeling of the Temple Bar neighborhood. Very hipster and trendy neighborhood vibes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Temple Bar. I am at the Pickle, an Indian restaurant in the Portobello neighborhood. And uh, I think a lot of people recommended this place. The menu was, was inspired by Northern Ireland and Indian cuisines all together. I ordered the Bopali Dak Tikka. Barbary duck marinated overnight in red chili, cinnamon and ginger. So many things happening. The duck itself is so buttery. But then these spices, they're very vibrant. And also, it's sweet at the same time. I'm really not doing justice. This is just very, a very complex blend of flavors. Really good. Mm. And I also got the goat kima pao, tender braised goat with garlic and caramel. Oh my god. I'm a Swiss bogart. Best Indian dish I've ever eaten in my life. I'm taking a mental picture. Sotete. This is sotete. That's what we say in Mongolian. It's crazy. Mmm. It's really good. You go to a place nearby called Obeko. Remember this guy. He will later come into play. You're gonna find unique drinks. You know, yeah. won't find anywhere else. Okay. Do you miss Brazil? Uh, this was something I didn't expect. When you're bouncing around Dublin, you'll notice one group of people pretty much everywhere. Brazilians. Non-EU, Portuguese language, rain versus sun, other side of the world. You would never guess that Brazilians are one of the biggest and growing immigrant groups in Ireland. Spots like this, Beko. They bring a little flavor of homeland and use rare fruits in Ireland like guava and passion fruit and make delicious cocktails that'll help you digest all the food you've been consuming. Right. Someone told us that the uh, seafood cafe is one of the best oyster bars. Remember I mentioned the single best meal? And remember this guy? Well, that guy works here. <laughs> Dublin locals will tell you to avoid Temple Bar at all costs. Under the trampling of drunk tourists, it isn't a great place to eat. But there's one exception. Seafood Cafe, with a tiny kitchen, barely 10 feet long, keeps pumping out food more appetizing than the other. I did not expect to like this so much. Grilled Dublin Bay prawns, butter mussels, crab, saltfish, sea brain. Oh, and of course, my favorite, oysters. I later learned that its head chef Neil Sabongi is one of Ireland's leading chefs who's all about seafood that's fine dining made affordable. Sign me up! I think the verdict is, if there's one restaurant that I would come back to in Dublin, I think this is the place. Oh no! Whew. It's pretty windy, cold. 
Like I promised, the absolute best locals recommended thing to do in Dublin is... The answer is in my next video. Gotta, gotta hurry up.